Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can't Fly. Woo, it's hot. Let's get this engine started. So I am on my way to Smoketown today. Smoketown. So I, uh, I've never been there. And the reason why I found out or heard about this airport was just hearing people calling on the radio. And so I figured, you know, let me, you know, go on out there. I need to uh, get some time in the 172. I haven't been in this bird in a minute. And um, I figured, you know what, let me go on out here and... Uh, do some flying to Smoketown. Now, one of the things I have to be worried about is if you look out here, look out front, it's, you can see that it's cloudy and there's like definitely a little bit of a cold front moving in and there's definitely some, some clouds, I think that's scattered at 3,500. So definitely gonna have to be paying attention to what's going on in, you know, in the sky there. A lot, of, a lot more, much more so than normal. Um, and one of the things that, you know, I am good for is if, you, <laughs> if, if I have to, you know, I will, uh, I will abort a mission in a minute. So, yeah. So I'm going to come up here and do a run up. There's somebody in front of me anyway. So I got to make sure that, uh, I do, you know do my little run up you know anyway so it'll give them time to what they need to do and um after the run up i'll uh come on back to you good people no stop no, traffic fair is left down in front of my two three full stop no, it's done. okay you got a uh, banana right in front of you we'll be in the numbers on the down, those, uh, downtown uh, downtown on the, the down one for a uh, two three those down uh, it's like five oh five five oh five all right roger thanks and Doylestown traffic, Cessna 734 Alpha Uniform, departing runway 23. I'm going to be on the go here, the other two in the traffic pattern. Doylestown. And Doylestown, but Vans is turning left base 23 at uh, Doylestown. Okay, I see 23. 23. All right, heels to the floor, full power. All right, engine instruments in the green, oil temp, oil pressure, suction on, look good. Airspeed is coming alive. And doors on traffic, bananas is turning final, about a mile final, two, three. Doors. All right, so we're climbing out nicely. And you know, this, uh, this Cessna here is a beast. I'm actually doing a nice little easy climb. All right, so let's do our climb checklist. So my power is where I wanted to be mixture and taxi landing light can come off. And we're climbing on up. So I might have to stay at about 2.5. Because if you look out there, see it's uh, a little cloudy out there. I expected it to be a little bit more bumpy. All right, so we are on our way out to Smoketown. Smoketown. And again, the reason why I'm flying out to Smoketown today it's just because I, I hear people talk about it all the time. They're flying out to Smoketown, and uh, I just want to check it out. So I figured I'd come on over here and uh, check out some Smoketown. <laughs> all right, so I am back in the Cessna 172, and I will say that just for today, like when it's hot, hot weather and Hot weather in Cessna 122s, Cessna 122s, and 172s definitely works so much better. Because, I'm going to tell you, man, in those Pipers, you just have that one door on the side. You get this little tiny window. And, you know, you got some, some vents on the floor, but it doesn't really do much until you get, you know, you get up and, you know, altitude and you're moving thing and you're flying and whatnot and so yeah it's uh it's a little bit tough but in the Cessna you know I can open this window I can open that window I can open this door the door is kind of easier to get to so 
Yeah, everything is just a little easier. But one of the things I'm noticing is just getting pushed around a little bit. And, you know, you just, can you see this? It just feels like, you know, it is just more susceptible to wind currents. I just feel stuff more. So it's just something about that wing that's just, I think is just different. I'm gonna pick Smoketown in there. That's interesting, I'm having a hard time seeing these numbers. I see one, two. Okay, good. The one thing I love about this particular airplane too, the engine is, uh, is magnifico. So see how I'm getting pushed around a little bit more? Definitely have to be, I just feel like I have to be much more on top of this airplane than I do when I'm flying the Piper. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just definitely different. Anytime I get to get in the cockpit is, uh, it's truly a joy. And as you can see by some of the previous videos over the last couple of weeks, been doing some some great, some great flying. I mean, it's just been amazing. I got to fly to Tangier Island, which was just unbelievable. My only thing I wish I just would have had more time to uh, spend on the island. So I just didn't give myself enough time for that. And, you know, and the other thing is I definitely wish I would have, uh, you know, just rented a, um, rented a cart, you know, drive around the island, all that good stuff. That would have been, that would have been pretty awesome. Find out, looking for traffic, making sure I'm avoiding any air spaces. Typically the class Bravo that's off to my left here and just making sure I'm on top of everything and everything looks good. So yeah, in addition to Tangier Island, I got to be one of the pilots, one of the volunteer pilots at airport day. And I got to tell you, that was just, <laughs> that was just so much fun and so amazing. And I got to tell you, I never dreamt at how wonderful it is to fly people who have never flown in a small general aviation aircraft before. It really is, it really is amazing. It's just seeing the, the kids' eyes and the look on their faces, it was just truly incredible, just looking for some traffic. But that's gonna be the one thing I'm gonna be having to pay attention to, is just making sure I'm paying attention to these buildups. And if you can look out front there, it's just really hazy. So I don't know if that's still some of the smoke from Canada or it's just hazy. So anyway, get it back to the kids. <laughs> Forget about the smoke. But yeah, that airport day was just so great. And I even learned a bunch of stuff in terms of AIM and the uh, aircraft mechanics school that they have. Um, you know, that's, that place is awesome. And I'm going to put the Ames contact information back in this video so you can have it. And if you are mechanically inclined, but you want to do maybe something different, and you always thought about maybe working on airplanes, or you know you work at a car shop, or you work at SEPTA, you work on buses, and you, you know, you think about a career change. Now think about becoming an aircraft mechanic. They are sorely needed, trust me. And I don't know much about salaries, you know, compensation and that kind of stuff. But I can tell you, I'm sure it is, I'm sure it is a decent, you can make a decent living. That's my guess. So I, I learned that about Airport Day, so, but it was just seeing all the kids and more importantly, the kids and the parents, their villages that stood around them and just seeing the pride in the parents' eyes as they watch their kids getting these aircraft with us and take off and land and come back. And it would have been awesome to be a fly on the wall to hear the conversations after they got home. But I definitely felt so good being able to participate as a pilot and to fly these young folks so they could see you know, what it's like to, to fly. And if you remember that one young lady, I'll always remember her for sure. 
she was in the back with that. I don't know if it was her brother, her boyfriend, but whatever the case may be, she was definitely a little on the nervous side. But by the time we finished our traffic pattern and she was getting ready to land, she was definitely a lot more comfortable. And that was just so cool to see. So it that that those two flights were just just awesome. And I, I am just so glad that I had the opportunity to have that experience. You know, it really was great. All right, so just trying to listen to some of this traffic on the radio, and it's definitely getting a lot more hazy that way, and I'm definitely seeing some haze out to the front of me here. Actually, that's not haze. That is, and so I'm cheating back around. So see, over here to my right, that looks to be rain pretty good. So I cheated over to the left, going over this little lake, and then just kind of skirting the edge of here, and I'm looking up here just to make sure that those aren't like storm clouds, so they're definitely cumulonimbus, but not of the dangerous variety. Now, one of the things that I found interesting is that um, every time I've flown in the summer, I've flown with like a CFI. It's really interesting flying in this kind of situation by myself, like, you know, the, the potential for storms and that kind of thing, but we'll see. All right, so you can see, I'm kind of going through some of the precipitation, but as you can see, the visibility still isn't bad. And so that's the that's the key. And it's called town traffic, Cessna 734 Alpha Uniform, 10 east, northeast of the field, smoke down. Okay. So let's, uh, mixture's full rich, car fee's coming on, I'm gonna go down to 2,000, start my descent, easy descent, while I'm up here, looking for the field, so it should be off my 12 o'clock here, I think I might see it, so it should be off the nose here, so just looking for the field. Now that's the one thing that it used to really stress me out, but it's not as bad when I, I can't really find the field. And I've learned that, like, if I don't find it, go around, fly over it, you know, have some altitude and go around. But it's interesting because you would think, like, you look out here, it would be easier to see. And sometimes the opposite is true. All these fields just look like, <laughs> they just look like potential for airports. Okay, where are you, Smoketown? Looking for you. Sometimes I try to cheat and look for, when it's like a little hazy like that, I try to look for the beacon. Sometimes I can see the light. I'm thinking there's a space right up in there. And Smoketown traffic, Cessna 734 Alpha Uniform. Five miles northeast of the field, inbound from runway 28, smoke down. Okay, where are you? I don't see you. Where is the airport? Where is the airport? All right, so let's get ready for landing. So my brakes feel good. My car peat is already in, mixture is full rich. Taxi landing light is going to come on. This might be one of those times where I'm overflying it. Oh, there it is. It's always an adventure looking for the airport, but it's always a relief when I find that bad boy. Got it. What's And Smoketown traffic, Cessna 734 Alpha Uniform, two mile final runway, two, eight, Smoketown. All right, I got my first notch of flaps in. The other thing that's really interesting too, is the first time I land at an airport is having a sight picture. So here, I think there's a displaced threshold. So that means there's a, a lip or something. All right, let's go 20 laps. Speed is good. 
Hey, it's Swifttown Traffic, Cessna 734 Alpha Uniform, short final, runway 28, Swifttown. All right, let's get on in. Third notch of flat. Get too slow. I like it. I like it. Right there. We're a little fast. Absolute greaser. Welcome to Smoketown. Oh, that feels so good. Well, welcome to Smoketown. So actually that was a that was a nice landing. I um uh, pleased with that. Alright, so well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and uh go check this place out. You know, I always like to get out and look around. So, thank you for flying with me to Smoke Town. <laughs> All right, Russ Kid, Russ Kid, fly. I'm out. Peace.